Ooh, that was kind of nice. Welcome back, everyone. This is Dom, and this is another episode of Kerbal Realism. Today, we are shooting for our objective that we tried to get to last episode, uh, or that we were planning on getting to last episode. I almost hit a mountain, literally after I stopped hitting record for the last episode. Almost hit a mountain, changed my trajectory. Uh, <laughs> so what we're going to do now is just kind of slow our roll uh, down. Yeah, I almost, I'm talking about like within a foot or two, and I wish I was still recording it, and it would have been in the last one, but uh, it wasn't. So what we're going to do... Uh, now is do one of these. We'll set up a maneuver, and we'll just do a nice descent uh, into our landing here. Uh, point at the node. Since I am ascending, uh, it's a little bit better for me to uh, do this burn. It's not very fuel efficient what I did, but who cares? I have plenty of fuel for this descent, I think. At least for the uh, hitting the, the uh, objective. So, anyways... Uh, last episode, if you didn't see it, we launched Jeb to the moon. Um, I know I started this episode so weird. Um, but, and today we are trying to land him uh, on the the moon in a very specific spot for contract. Apparently there's a crater uh, that the science community would like me to uh, get some surface samples and uh, some observations from, which is right over here. Uh, specifically Reaction Systems Limited uh, wants me to get uh, some information from here. Now, also, down here, there's a second site that we are going to need to do something at as well. So I haven't really tested out how we're going to do that one. Uh, but yeah, so Reaction Systems Limited wants me to get EVA reports in surface samples. Uh, that's what those little symbols are. The little bag looks is a surface sample and the feet is EVA reports. Uh, for those locations, and it looks like we're landing in that crater there. Let's get ourselves a little bit closer to it. Yes, right there, definitely. Probably want to land right around there. So I'm going to try to land it. Oh, looks like a little Mickey Mouse. Anyways, uh, uh, let's do this and this. Excellent. We'll try to land just like that. So we'll start burning now. Hopefully get our trajectory set uh, correctly. We'll just walk to those locations. I think that would be the best. Now, it, just a little bit of an advice here. Um, the moon craters themselves uh, tend to be fairly sloped. So uh, I'd recommend you guys try to find a nice uh, flat land to land on here. As you can tell, we are going to be landing on a slope that doesn't exist right now. Uh, really doesn't exist. Let's see, suicide burn distance. I'm actually going to keep on burning just ever so slightly here. Uh, you can actually set your distance here so it's a... Uh, basically, it'll tell you how far away uh, you want to burn uh, from now to get basically a perfect landing. I'm not going to be able to do a perfect landing. I don't want to do a perfect landing because it's difficult. Um, and I'm almost out of fuel on this stage, which I'm just going to burn out and lose. And we are going to hit gear, so we can extend our landing gear here. Cool. Let's see. As of now, it looks like we're going to be landing on a slope of only a few degrees. Uh, 10 degrees, etc, etc. Oh yeah, we're definitely on the wrong side here. Um, I'm actually going to try to correct that. We have plenty of fuel for this lander. Uh, the top stage itself actually has um, actually has fuel as well. That was a big explosion. There's another LV909 engine here uh, that allows me to that will allow me to uh, return back to Kerbin safely. So all of the fuel that's in this bottom stage right now is for uh, landing and choosing our site well. I'm just going to try to get to this side over here. Just a little bit more. There we go. And we'll set ourselves to retrograde. 
And I cannot time warp. So this is going to be quite a slow going. And it looks like this is the upslope of the crater that I'm planning to land on, but I think it would be easier for us to get to our objectives if uh, we're that close. And I'm going to start burning at the suicide distance of just about uh, 500. Because I think we'll be okay with that. Ooh, you're shaking a little bit, buddy. Why are you shaking? Why are you shaking so much? You scared? My rocket's scared. Go. Just maintain a positive distance for the suicide burn here. Nice and slow going. Nice and slow going. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Maintaining our speed. 6 meters per second. 5.9. Our altitude is 44 feet, 44 meters. Sorry, I'm an American. <laughs> it's an automatic reaction. There we go. We have touched down on the moon. Very first time. We are right just about at our location, too, for our uh, first uh, contract there for the Reaction Systems Limited surface sample. We're going to do a crew report first. Uh, from the Midlands. Awesome. Midlands. Okay, and we are going to jump out and hopefully land nice and safely here. Here we go. First, we're going to plant a flag because I can't come to the moon and not plant a flag. And the sun is just about overhead, so there's not going to be any shadows or anything. Uh, or you won't be able to see this. Mun Midlands. Awesome. I like to la label the uh, sections because I don't really have a, a decent map for the biomes just yet. Okay, and if we take a surface sample now, we have completed our first part of our contract, which I'm going to go over now. Uh, if I recover this surface sample from the Midlands itself, I'll get 108 science. That's astounding. Okay, so our contract parameters. You gathered survey data from Gamma on the Moon. So if we go to our contracts... Here we go. Uh, there it is. Uh, we need to take an EVA report, take surface sample, surface sample, and EVA report. And the last thing is uh, go to site uh, TQF and be about 12,000 meters above the site and take a crew report from that location. Uh, and then uh, we'll be able to get all of that completed and then we'll be able to cash in on everything. Now what I gotta do now is try to uh, get to this location here. So I need to go south, which if I remember correctly is this direction. Um, I'm gonna try to do this with the RCS here. Now, I have to keep my EVA propellant here fell relatively uh, to only half because I need to come back and uh, I don't have a rover or anything, so. Let's see how well we did with this. Let's see where we are on the planet now. Ah, wrong direction, so that means I need to go this way. I think we're actually trying to investigate this crater here, maybe. Let's see. Ooh, jagged edges. Oh, this would, this would be the coolest thing ever. I'm already 1.5 kilometers away from the uh, <laughs> the capsule here. If anything goes wrong, I better be able to get back. Okay, let's see how well we did with that one now. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Jeb. I have to go east, which, by comparison to me, that's completely north of me. Okay, so that means I need to go that way. There we go. Now let's see how well that did. Okay. Looks like we're right on top of it, so we'll do an EVA report. Did that get us it? And it did. Gathered survey data from... Oh no, maybe that didn't do it. Let's check. Nope, I have not. Take an EVA report from... 
Okay. Okay. Guess I need to be a little bit closer. Go, Jeb. Go, Jeb. Go. Go, Jeb. I can't take any more of this coppin. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. There must be something that tells me. I can see your bot. You look so excited to be here. Come on. We can do this. I believe in you, Jeb. I'm standing on top of this thing. Come on. That's that. I'm gonna go that way, which I'm standing on top of. Aha! Look at that! Woohoo! You're now entering the area! Okay, cool. Wow, that took forever. Got the EVA report. Keeping that. Going back. Woohoo! <laughs> that took forever. Hopefully I just don't hit this side of this ridge here. Oh man. Oh man. There, okay, we're good. We shall survive. Okay, we're gonna go back to the lander here. Um, and get the science that we just collected put away. Also, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more pro EVA propellant because I don't want to have to walk to those other locations. That was grueling. Uh, and if I do, I'll probably just have to turn off the recording and uh, just do it uh, without you guys uh, because my hard drive space would just die from that. I have no space left. No more food for you, or no more bites for you. No bite for you. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. And we are home. Bloop. Awesome. And just about half, uh, I'm assuming unit. I'm just going to call them units. Uh, F. F. I forgot about that. It's like, what button is it? F. Oh, F. And F is to get in. Space was let go. Awesome. Those are two gone, so we have our surface samples there, EVA reports there. Um, those are both put inside, and both parts of the contract are now complete. Let's see what happens if we do an EVA now. Do we get, oh cool, we have our propellant back, awesome. Okay. Awesome. Now we have to go to those two other sites. Joy. Okay, well I just looked at the map, and uh, it looks like we have to go up there. I don't know how well that's going to fare for our propellant. Um, yeah, I just left the uh, the ship there. We're already almost, we're, you know, we're quite fast actually. We're going like 30 meters per second or 50 meters per second or something like that. Uh, it's quite fast. Uh, but I really need to get up on the side of this hill here, it looks like, for this next, this next pickup point. This is a big ridge, so we might lose all of our fuel with just this. Three, two point four. Wow, we're going 100 kilometers an hour. Or sorry, 100 kilometers, 100 meters per second. Good gosh, pay attention, Dom. Yeah, so this is the one of those Mickey ears. It looked like uh, this. Oh, there it is. Now entering the uh, the area. Sweet, perfect. Don't really need to go very far into it. So we might be able to get to the secondary point, uh, if anything. I did waste a bunch of fuel trying to get up to speed. That should be okay. And landing. Oh, oh, I bounced. <laughs> Bumbles, bounce. If you guys get that reference, 10 points to Gryffindor. EVA report. Sweet. Awesome. I'm gonna keep that one and see if we can store it. If we can't, then we'll dump them. Um, and now we need to go basically to that point there. It looks like let's zoom out because I that's how I got to the last one. So here's the Mickey ears. It looks like we need to go like here. So let's fly towards that crater. Oop. Nope. Let's go. Point the camera towards it, and then we'll just walk towards that direction. Good. Good. Awesome. Cool. And we will 
accelerate ourselves a little bit more forward, please. And then a little bit up. I want to save just about two units of fuel uh, to get us back, because I don't want to have to walk back. Now that's a cool shot right there. He looks like he's humongous. Rawr! I am Jeb. I am the size of the moon. Anyways. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, 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 Batman! No, don't die, Jeb. 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 You'll be fine. I promise. Promise. I promise. Don't die, Jeb. Whatever you do. Man, moon is slidey. Oh, man. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Come on. Gain your balance. 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 No. No. No spinny. No spinny. Spinny's bad. You're gonna be sick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just gonna slide down this entire hill, ain't I? Uh, it looks like he's having a blast. <laughs> Whee! You slowed down yet? Can you get up? Almost. Almost. I've slid like 400 meters. Down, just down the hill. Now I need to get back up. Oh man, okay. Cool. Let's see if I can get him up. There we go. I think that's the direction I need to go. Check the map. Basically, in between, so you have this bit, so I need to go here, which is relative to me, there, there, okay, need to go over there, looks like I need to go that way, boop, this time, don't hit the ground so hard, hey Jeb, do you ever get that feeling whatever you're doing is being watched and criticized by hundreds of people? No? Just me? Well, I decided to walk the rest of the way because I'm just about to run out of jetpack fuel. And uh, Jeb needs the exercise, you know, he's been in space too long and, you know, he eats lots of snacks. So, yeah. Update. Aha! We made it! A little message came up uh, that we're entering the area. Take a surface sample here, keep it, and we have finished all of the parameters in here. Cool, they're all gone. Awesome. So now we gotta head back to the uh, the lander there somehow. Let's turn on our jetpack here. Whoop! And uh, hopefully get ourselves there safely. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, guys, new situation. Um. Jeb might die. Uh, ugh, there it goes. I uh, ran out of fuel. Didn't notice it uh, during the EVA. Uh, hopefully he's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is a big jump for him. Oh, man. Okay, he's just sliding down the hill, you know, going about, you know, 20 meters per second. 30, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Maybe about 20, 15 meters per second. Downhill. Um... But, you know, if I could see his face, I'd be able to see that he's probably smiling, you know. We'll see. Yeah, he's got that, eh. It's my job, kind of face on. So, yeah. And Jeb comes to a stop. Woohoo! Now you have uh, quite a long distance to run there, buddy. Just a little bit of a heads up there. I'll see you guys when we get there.